Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, has been the stuff of science fiction for decades. But not now. Dario Amade, CEO of Anthropic, one of the leading AI research companies, has made a bold claim. AGI could be here as soon as 2026. I actually think ironically, because we're much closer to the kinds of things AGI is pointing at, it's sort of no longer a useful term. You know, it's, 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 you know, it's a little bit like if you see some object off in the distance on the horizon, you can point at it and give it a name, but you get close to it and, you know, it turns out it's like a big sphere or something. In just a few short years, we might be sharing our world with machines that can think, reason, and problem solve just like us, or even better. But why is it such a big deal? And why does Amadei think it's closer than most of us realize? Do you think GPT-4 is an AGI? I think if it is, just like with the UFO videos, uh, we wouldn't know immediately. You can read science, but we never taught it to read from video, just from watching video, just like humans. They're both headed towards AGI. My guess is um, it will, there will be limits to what a system that is purely an intelligence can understand about the human condition without having the same, not just senses, but like our bodies change as we get older. We kind of evolve and I think that those very subtle physical changes just drive a lot of social patterns and behavior. Super intelligence. Amade's vision of powerful AI is mind boggling. He's talking about an AI system that's smarter than a Nobel Prize winner across multiple fields. Biology, programming, math, engineering, writing, you name it. This AI wouldn't just be a glorified chatbot. It would have access to all the interfaces a human working virtually would have. Text, audio, video, internet access, everything. But here's where it gets really wild. This AI could control robots, run experiments, and even design new tools for itself. And we are not talking about just one of these AIs, but potentially millions of them working in parallel, each one operating at 10 to 100 times human speed. Amodi calls this a country of geniuses in a data center. But Amodi isn't some wide-eyed dreamer. He's the CEO of one of the world's leading AI companies, and he's basing his predictions on the exponential progress we are seeing in the field. The really mind-bending part is that Amodi thinks we could reach this point as early as 2026. That's just a year away. So, if Amodi is right, what could this mean for the world? Well, he's not the only one who thinks this way. Sam Altman, the CEO of the popular company OpenAI, shares the same view. My biggest piece of advice is like, this is a special time and take advantage of it. This is like not the time to delay what you were planning to do or wait for the next thing. Like, this is a special moment uh, and a few years where a lot of stuff is gonna happen and a lot of like great new things are gonna get going. In a recent interview, he predicted that we're a few thousand days away from super intelligence. But what does this mean? A few thousand days could be anywhere from the next two to 30 or even 40 years. If you want to learn more about what he revealed regarding superintelligence, watch this video by clicking the I button and don't forget to subscribe. Bio-revolution. If Amade's predictions are correct, we're on the cusp of a biological revolution that could make the past century of medical progress look like child's play. It will be like compressing 100 years of progress into just five to 10 years. AGI before we saw video conferencing. And I, I think it's gonna be literally true. I think it's not a joke. Here's a taste of what Amade envisions. Infectious diseases will be nearly all of them gone. Imagine mRNA vaccines and similar technologies that can quickly adapt to target any pathogen. Cancer, mostly eliminated. We're looking at a potential 95% reduction in both mortality and incidence. Genetic diseases, prevented through advanced embryo screening and cured in existing people through safer, more reliable gene editing techniques. However, the most jaw-dropping prediction is that Amidai believes we could double the human lifespan to 150 years. And that might just be the beginning. 
we could potentially reach escape velocity, where we are extending lifespan faster than time is passing, allowing people to live as long as they want. This might seem fictional, but remember, life expectancy nearly doubled in the 20th century. We have already seen drugs that increase the maximum lifespan in rats by 25 to 50 percent. Some animals, like certain turtles, have already lived for 200 years. Mindscape We will have massively superhuman AGI that will exceed humans in essentially every respect of intelligence. But biology is just the beginning. Amode believes that powerful AI could transform neuroscience and mental health care just as radically. He's predicting that most mental illnesses could be cured. Conditions like depression, PTSD, schizophrenia, and addiction will be curable in the near future. Imagine a world where these devastating conditions are as treatable as a common cold. Amodi also suggests that we might be able to go beyond just treating problems and actually improve the baseline quality of human experience. We could develop drugs that tune cognitive function and emotional state to help people have a more fulfilling day-to-day -day experience. This may sound like something out of Brave New World, right? And you're not wrong to be a bit wary. There are definitely ethical questions to consider here, but think about it this way. We already use caffeine to boost our alertness and alcohol to relax. What if we had much more precise, effective, and side-effect-free ways to modulate our mental states? The key here, again, is the power of AI to accelerate research. Amodi thinks AI could increase the rate of neuroscience discoveries by 10 times or more. It's all about compressing a century of neuroscience progress into just 5 to 10 years. Human Society Grow an AGI. Um, it's it's almost like like raising a, a kid, but that's like a super genius, like godlike intelligence kid. Um, and it matters kind of like how you raise the kid, you know. If Amade's predictions come true, we will be looking at a fundamental reshaping of human society. If AI can do most jobs better than humans, what does that mean for employment? Amade suggests we'll need to have serious conversations about how the economy should be organized. But he also believes people will still find ways to feel accomplished, even if it's not through traditional work. AI could dramatically accelerate economic growth in developing countries. He believes it's possible to bring the per capita GDP of sub-Saharan Africa to the level of China's in just 5 to 10 years. That's an increase from about $1,700 to $12,700 in a decade or less. AI could potentially help reduce bias in the legal system and even assist in undermining repressive governments. But it also raises concerns about privacy and the concentration of power. With advanced biotechnology, people could have unprecedented control over their bodies. Weight, physical appearance, reproduction. All of these could be fully under an individual's control. But what about the risks? What about inequality? What about the misuse of this technology? I'm more concerned about the subtle dangers because I think we're more likely to overlook those. The cataclysmic dangers uh, a lot of people talk about and a lot of people think about. And I don't want to minimize those. I think they're really serious and, and a real thing. Um, but I think we at least know to look out for that and spend a lot of effort. Um, the, the unknown unknowns are really hard, and so I'd worry more about those, although I worry about both. You are right to be concerned. Amode himself acknowledges these risks. In fact, that's a big part of why he and Anthropic focus so much on AI safety research. But Amode believes that these risks are the only thing standing between us and an incredibly positive future. He argues that most people are underestimating both the potential upsides and downsides of AI. Of course, all of this is speculative. We can't know for sure what the future will bring. But if Amade is even half right, we are looking at changes that will dwarf the combined industrial and digital revolutions. The next few years are going to be incredibly interesting, to say the least.